What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioWars 3 Raw TV. Well, if I don't speak up, nobody's going to. That's just how it is. Now, I don't really give a fuck if I get bashed. Fuck it. I want the truth, right? I want the truth out there. I want you to know the truth. I want people to open their fucking eyes because people are so brainwashed nowadays that unless somebody comes up there and says the truth, which is sometimes against the grain, people don't even fucking know. What am I talking about? I am really fucking sick. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm saying that you got to use your fucking brain that so many lifestyle lifters, and what I mean is not people that compete, right? Just lifestyle lifters and bikini competitors. That type of competitor, which will be bikini competitors, as well as some bodybuilding competitors, some physique competitors. I'd say bodybuilding and physique is probably hasn't gone this way, but for some reason, bikini has really been phased around this fucking type of training, and it shouldn't be the push-pull legs training. And I'm like, what the fuck? So here's the problem. I'm watching these bikini girls do, you know, these routines based around the big three, okay? Squats, bench press, and fucking deadlifts. They do their whole fucking thing. Push, pull, legs. Today I got a deadlift. They're trying to train heavier. And then I watch them and they're doing like three to five reps. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing with this three to five rep power training push, pull, legs? I don't know where the fuck this came from. I'm watching kids now in the gym right now. They don't compete. They'll never compete. You know why? They're going to be fucked up by the time they'd ever get to the stage. Because they're doing push, pull legs with three to five reps all the fucking time. And they, I, I don't know like how it became a fad. I think basically things come around like every couple of years, every five years, ten years, or whatever. They reinvent themselves. Push, pull legs was a routine back in the fucking day. But it was not something that you stuck to for like your whole fucking life. It was something that was used to gain strength in a short period or a short block, bodybuilding wise. And then what would happen was you'd move on to hypertrophy training, and your cycle, your training would cycle like that, right? But now what I'm seeing is the off season. These fucking people train like that the whole off season, like they'll do deloads and shit, but they're still using less of a fucking uh, workload, but doing the same fucking movements at the same time, doing the same reps. So instead of doing three reps with 90% of their max or whatever it is, they'll do three reps with like 60%. I'm like, why the fuck are you? And anyways, I, I don't even try to figure it out anymore because it makes no fucking sense. I know that there's a logical. It may seem logical, but let me tell you what really happens, okay? Right now, there's two, two fucking girls that I can think of offhand, and there's way more because there's men too, that are in their early 20s that are fucked up and injured already. And I'm like, dude, it took me until I was in my mid-30s to get my first injury, and that was after being a professional wrestler where I wound up getting slammed on my hip and my back over and over again, which caused injuries to the soft tissue that made me weaker on certain movements. Before that... I didn't have any fucking problems at all. My mid-20s, I was fucking indestructible. Most people back when I started training were fucking indestructible in their mid-20s. You ran up to your 30s, indestructible. Like you would fucking lift anything nonstop. You know, nobody fucking took time off. They would take deloads. You fucking train. We did active recovery sometimes. But the injuries weren't that we were in our fucking 20s. Are you kidding me? One I know for a fact has two herniated discs in her fucking back. In like her early 20s. I'm like, what the fuck? The other one had a fusion already. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, why, why are you guys getting injured? The other, I know another guy who's actually a trainer. He's been out with an injury. He's in like his mid-20s. And I'm like, how the fuck are you? They're all doing the same shit. Push, pull, legs. Squat, bench, deads. Push, pull, legs. A little accessory works over here. Push, pull, legs, right? Let me explain to you what the fuck happens when you do this shit without thinking, right? You're a bikini competitor. Why the fuck are you doing three to five reps in anything? That makes no fucking sense whatsoever. I gotta get stronger for what? Are you gonna be on a bikini stage where they fucking wheel out a bench, put a squat rack there, and drop a deadlift bar and make you do the fucking exercises? No, they don't give a fuck how strong you are. As a judge, you think I give a flying shit what you can bench press, deadlift, or squat? Fuck no. You do what it takes to get your physique to respond. And most of the times, it's not this fucking push, pull legs, three to five reps. Most of the times it's 10 to 12 reps, the hypertrophy range. That's what physique athletes do. But they're taking off like the power training because let's face facts, those higher reps take more energy, takes more effort. Now I'm not knocking power lifters, but we're gonna get to power lifters in a second. But it's two different fucking sports, right? Like these people are not resting for fucking five, six minutes between sets trying to hit these fucking, they rest in a minute or two, some of them don't even rest that long, they fucking change the collars, get a drink of water, and they go for another fucking set, like their bodies are not even recover. they're trying to do something different with their bodies that doesn't, the training doesn't match, so I don't see the training has to match the diet, it has to match, it all has to match, right, so these power lifters, I don't think people realize, they're 
their careers are very short compared to like a bodybuilder's career, right? We got bodybuilders in our fucking eighties that are still on stage. I saw one that was eighty three this past weekend at a competition on stage. Very few eighty three year old powerlifters fucking doing what they're doing anymore. Powerlifters also have many injuries leading up to these things. Like Larry Wheels, a young guy, he's been fucked up how many times already? He's having injuries left and right. Eventually, your body fucking breaks down. Now, powerlifters, when they're done competing, most of them have a very hard time fucking walking. Their joints are fucked. Their spines are compressed. They have stenosis of the spine. They're fucked up. So what they do is they go balls out for their fucking sport, which their sport is to move as much weight as possible and fucking beat whatever records were before, whatever numbers they want to hit, they have a specific number. That has nothing to do with what you're doing on stage as a bikini competitor or a bodybuilder. Fucking nothing. All you have to do is progressive resistance, which means that if you're doing a 10 to 12 reps, you increase by that by one pound, right? Your body's going to respond. You don't have to fucking put on 30 pounds, 40 pounds, hit, hit fucking number. You don't have to PR every time you go in the fucking gym when you're trying to do a fucking physique competition. And I'm watching these young athletes get fucked up. Now, here's what actually happens. Now, as a power lifter, you're training that way because those are the three movements that you have to do in your sport, okay? It's like when you get lean for the, the show, that's what you have to do for the sport. When you have to develop body parts, that's what you have to do for the sport. Body, power lifting, it doesn't matter what the fuck you look like. It doesn't matter how fat you are, how lean you are. You just have to move the fucking weight up and down. That's it, period. Now, in that process of learning how to move those movements, the motor patterns of moving up and down, all of your muscles learn to fire a certain way and stabilize a certain way for those three fucking movements, okay? And they are not, and I'm telling you right now, they are fucking not applicable in the fucking real world with many fucking things you do. We've seen powerlifters get fucking hurt doing stuff like trying to carry a couch or something. Like I had a powerlifter friend that reached down to grab a fucking bed, pulled it up and tore his fucking bicep because it was just a weird angle that his body's not used to fucking pulling like that. Pop the fucking bicep right off. Here's a dude that deadlifted fucking 600 pounds. You're like, what the fuck? Like, how is that even possible? Because the body's fragile when it's not in the exact range of motion, set up the exact way that the stabilizing muscles know how to fucking move. It's that simple. So here you have these individuals that are fucking, they're not getting ready for that sport. They're getting ready for another sport. And what happens is their coaches tell them, well, you're doing the push-pull legs with these, but now we can add this in because we're going to bring your shoulders up a little more. Well, now what's happening is your body's used to stabilizing one way, and they're trying to push the shit the same way with that other body part, which the body doesn't stabilize the same way, and they get fucking hurt. They're compressing their spine over and over again with those heavy fucking squats. And what's happening, just like a, um, a uh, you know, um, the way that your body gets depleted, as you're getting ready for a show, right, powerlifters are usually getting stronger, getting stronger. They do, I've watched some of their training, like Alex Kang used to train at my gym, um, Susie Gary and Matt Gary, they're fucking, Susie's like the Michael Jordan of fucking natural powerlifting. She's got every world record there is. And basically, as you get towards the, the competition for powerlifting, they increase the poundages, they reduce them, they increase them. As you're getting towards a show for a bikini competitor or a bodybuilder, you're getting weaker and depleted and weaker and depleted. And these fucking people are being told by the coaches they got to keep that fucking weight up and keep pushing it in those movements. And the body can't fucking handle it. The spine keeps getting compressed over and over again. Now spinal injuries and neck injuries are happening. I've seen plenty of fucking people pull adductors or tear fucking biceps doing deadlifts, getting ready for bodybuilding competition, right? I, I mean, it's really not, not the best thing to do, training like a powerlifter to do these other things. And the, the, the clear distinction is young people are getting fucked up. And these are hardcore people that live the lifestyle. They're fucking diets in check. They're doing their cardio. They try to rest enough. But the problem is the training that they're doing is not, it's not applicable for what they want to do. I mean, if you're a bikini competitor and you've done a couple shows, you get fucked up and need spinal fusion. Guess what? You're more than likely never going to be able to push like you did ever again, which means your goal of reaching where you wanted to be is fucking done. It's over. I'm watching this shit play out and I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm watching, you know, um, another girl that I just saw a thing today. Her body is fucked. Like, she can't even lift anymore. And she's in her mid-20s. They're like, dude, you have two cracked fucking vertebrae, and she had to have a fucking fusion. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, that girl is having a fusion when, of, of course, like, she's pushing too much weight. She's not fucking training for her sport. She's training because everybody thinks push-pull legs is for the... It's not the adaptation you're looking for. It's not like you squat, bench, and deadlift and just throw in a few accessories here and there, and you're going to get on stage and win the fucking Mr. Olympia. And then people make fun of Phil Heath when they see him using machines and squeezing the muscle. Guess what? Phil doesn't have any fucking injuries. Phil's big and swole as fuck. His muscles look the way they're supposed to when they're on stage. When you watch Big Rami train, you don't see that motherfucker deadlifting a 1,000 pounds. 
You don't see him squatting 900 pounds. You ever watch Rami? It's a moderate weight and he's fucking squeezing the muscles, moving through a certain range of motion. It's completely different. So why the fuck are you guys out there trying to do something? Like, because it's a fad. It's a fucking fad. You see them walk in, they put their fucking knee sleeves on. Like, dude, you squat like 180 pounds, but whatever. Put their knee sleeves on, drinking their BCAAs. They got their lever fucking belt. You see them coming a mile away, right? And they go and they do triples with 180 pounds. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, trust me, guys, I've had my share of injuries. And my share of injuries didn't come till my mid-30s to 40s. What the fuck? I, I get you guys by 20 fucking years. And people make fun of the way, not people, but certain people, will make fun of the way I train. And I'm like, I train specifically for my sports. I train specifically for what I was doing. When I was in wrestling, I didn't train legs at all. Why? I didn't need to. My legs were fucking big enough. And when you're running around, you don't want big legs in the fucking ring. Like, I shifted my, my workouts and I shifted my diet to be arranged for whatever I was doing at the time. I didn't just become a fucking powerlifting trainer and keep pushing power movements the whole time. Like, it makes no fucking sense that these people, and again, it's the fad. They go online and they got a coach who that fucking, that's the way the coach trains. Well, now I saw the coach fucked up. I'm like, wait a second here. So you guys are all in your mid-20s, mid to early 20s. Okay, I'm, I'm really hammering that home because I want you guys to pay attention. Nobody should be in the gym fucking themselves up in the first few years of training in your early 20s. Your body's so resilient at that point. You can do almost anything to it and it will fucking recover and it will grow. But they're getting injured already. Why? Push, pull legs, maximum fucking weights, three to five reps. I'm like, for what? Are you going to be a professional powerlifter? No. Then why the fuck are you training like that? Like all of these guys, when they're fucking done, they retire, they can barely fucking walk. They literally hobble around like they fucking, they're going to fall down at any point in time. They all have bad elbows. They all have bad shoulders. They all have fucking bad necks. I mean, that's what happens with the sport. And they know that. They are fully aware of that. And they accept that fact. You guys out there are following fucking routines like them routines like them, because some idiot gave it to you, not knowing that that's the end result. And you're getting fucked up in your 20s already. If you keep training, what do you think is going to happen? You won't even be able to train by your mid-20s unless you change that shit now and get aware of what the fuck is going on. So stop following the fucking crowd. Stop listening to everybody that's fucking push, pull, legs, bullshit. Don't get me wrong. It can be done the right way. But not with these fucking three to five reps and these fucking short rest periods and shit. I'm like, and, and that's another thing, like... I'm listening to these fucking bikini competitors talk about why well, do short rest periods to keep my metabolism high. No, your pulse is up, okay? You're sweating because your body's trying to cool down and your pulse is up, okay? That doesn't mean you're burning any more fat. That doesn't even mean you're burning any more calories, okay? What's happening is your body is literally trying to make energy and it's having a hard time doing it, okay? That doesn't mean all of a sudden your body's tapping in all kinds of fat. What it means is your central nervous system is firing like a motherfucker trying to get your body to move and you're doing three to five reps. How much real metabolism stimulation do you think you get from three reps? Not much at all. I'll be honest with you. It's more central nervous system moving that fucking weight than your muscles actually moving the weight. Powerlifting actually is a lot of your central nervous system being able to fire those muscle fibers all at once, which makes that weight move through space faster and easier. It's like the lady who um, picks up the car off the kid. She don't even fucking lift weights, but she can move that car. She weighs a buck 25 and picked up a car off the kid. How is that even possible? It's from the central nervous system firing from the fight or flight, shooting out that fucking adrenaline, and your body, all of a sudden in that emergency state, can fire those muscle fibers, which are, each fiber is like fucking steel wire, to be honest with you, and it fires them all, and it's able to pick that up for that one time and drop it. What do you think would happen if that lady did that three days a week? She'd fucking tear something, right? So the body's capable of doing great things, and it's, it's an amazing thing. But when you're sitting back there fucking a bikini competitor, training like an asshole, of course you're going to get injured. I can't fucking fathom, like, I mean, I'm seeing this across the board. People get hurt, 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 hurt. And I'm like, yeah, I've been hurt. I'm 43 fucking years old. I've been training for over 30 years. I have hit numbers that some of them will never hit in the gym. And I still didn't start getting injured until I was wrestling. It was the wrestling that banged my body up to the point where I had a hard time recovering. I had so many issues from being slammed over and over again and taking bumps the fucking wrong way outside of the ring and shit. That, that stuff affected my training when I got back. When I started getting back to bodybuilding, I was no longer healthy anymore. That was from four years of being fucking slammed over and over and over again, not being able to heal properly because I was still in the gym training when I was wrestling. I was still wrestling three days a week. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, sometimes twice on Sunday, sometimes twice on Friday. I mean, twice on Saturday and twice on Sunday in different venues. And we still had practice twice a week also. So I was in the ring five times a week getting slammed over and over again. Two of those days were consistent three hours of fucking training. Then my, my workouts, I did my fucking weight workouts and stuff on top of that, and my cardio, and stuck to my diet. 
Like that shit took a toll on my body for four fucking years where I got injured. I couldn't imagine being 22 years old or 23 fucking years old and going to the gym and say, oh, I got to do my rehab exercises today because my fucking, I have herniated discs or I got to do fucking this because my fucking neck is banged up. What the fuck? You're 23. You should be feeling zero fucking pain, strong as a fucking ox, full of energy. If you're not, guess what? You're not a normal fucking 23 year old. Motherfuckers outside of the gym feel better than that. You're in the gym taking care of yourself, supposed to be healthy and fit, and you feel worse than them. Why is that? Because you're fucking doing things ass backwards. So guys, train for your sport. Train for your fucking goals and realize that when your goals are met, what happens afterwards, your body takes the brunt of that. If you're doing heavy squats, and I mean three to five reps, heavy squats, three to five reps, heavy deadlifts, and you're doing heavy bench presses, right? And you do that shit fucking consistently with those heavy weights, trying to get ready for a show, you're going to get hurt. That's all there is to it. Everybody that's ever fucking got on stage knows you cannot do fucking power training leading up to a show because you're too fucking depleted. Your tendons and, lig tendons and ligaments do not heal properly. Your body doesn't heal properly. You're depleted by the time you get to that show. So why the fuck are you doing things that also, while you're doing the squat, bench, deadlift, and your body's building up those stabilizers to do those movements officially, the body becomes its function. What you do, the body adapts to and gets better at what it's doing. When you go back to play a sport, maybe you played in high school or college or whatever, even like I, the best one was when I fucking went to the batting cages. Uh, shit, it's going to be about me. Seven or eight years ago, I went to the batting cages with my ex-girlfriend, just this fucking slow pitch, and I was fucking swinging a bat, and I was about 240 pounds. I had a hard time fucking swinging a bat because my body can't do that movement anymore. I was like, what the fuck? Like, it felt so awkward because my body's now, but I could squat, and I could deadlift, and I could bench press, and I could do pull-ups. Like, I could do all of that shit, but swinging a bat was awkward. It was hard. Why? Because my body wasn't used to firing. You have to learn those fucking patterns over again. And now what happens is you have some muscles, certain muscles that are stronger than others that pull in different directions. They're not made to fucking swing a bat. So now all of a sudden you don't have the power to fucking swing a bat. You don't have the technique to swing a bat. You can't fucking swing a bat properly. But then you fucking, you know, because you're 23, you don't realize any of that shit. Of course, I'm older and I know that. So what you do is go out and try to fucking do some weekend warrior bullshit, fuck yourself up, wind up at the fucking doctor, and they're like, yeah, well, by the way, you're fucked up because this happened, this happened, you compressed disc, you have fucking stenosis of the spine, you're like, what the fuck? Like, I knew I was, like, sore and stuff, but, like, until you wind up fucked up and go to the doctor, you don't even know this shit is happening. I didn't even know I had a compressed disc in my spine. It's the bottom disc in my spine. It's fucking, like, this big. It's so small. I went to a new chiropractor that was actually in Maryland, and he did uh, an x-ray. My other chiropractors did a scan. They took a thing and they did a scan. He did an x-ray. And I know it was an x-ray because fucking at the time, he took an x-ray of my neck and you could see fucking my earrings and stuff in the thing. You could see my nose ring. You could see everything in the x-ray. I know it was my x-ray. It wasn't switched around by accident. And the discs in my neck were slightly reduced, but the one on the bottom of my spine was so small. And that doctor flat out said, hey man, you've had this one since you were a kid. Like this, you were born with this one. This is congenital. Like this, you're, it's a good thing you stopped deadlifting because like every time I deadlifted, I had pain. So I just stopped doing them. I was like, why do I need to do them? People are like, oh, I'll grow your traps, grow your back. Well, I'll do fucking pull-ups. I'll do shrugs. I'll do what I can. But the deadlifts hurt no matter what position I get in. I worked with the powerlifting coach. It didn't work. It hurt. The squats also hurt, but not to that extent because I can use a Smith machine and get my heels directly under the bar, which took the pressure off my spine the way it bent, right? So I was like working around it, but didn't even know what the fuck was going on until that chiropractor told me, like, you have this compressed disc. Had you kept going and trying to push those deadlifts, like fight through the pain and do the cool thing and follow the crowd, he said, you would have been fucked up in the hospital having a fusion or possibly having that disc removed and replaced. He goes, and then you're not going to be able to do any of that shit. He's like, your bodybuilding career is going to be fucking over at that point. He's like, so you're lucky that it fucking lasted the way it did. But doing what you did instinctively prolonged your bodybuilding career, prolonged your athletics, did all that shit. But here's the deal. You have to stop doing the fucking heavy squats and the heavy fucking deadlifts. That's all there is to it. It just compressed your spine. I mean, we're talking like... When I had this scan, I mean, it's been 30, about 30 years now I've been training. I already been training for 20 years. I already been through that part where I was 270 pounds doing fucking extremely heavy training. I mean, at 270, you can't be fucking weak. You don't get big by fucking around at the gym. I had done all that stuff already and escaped serious injury until I started wrestling. So at that point, I kind of had to back off. I had no choice. It was like, you can't do this. I went back and fucking, of course, my hip wasn't rotating properly because I didn't listen to the chiropractor. Popped a disc out of place in my back, moved a vertebrae. I couldn't stand up straight because I didn't listen to him. Went back to my other chiropractor because I couldn't face that chiropractor. He put me back in place and told me the same shit the other guy told me. Stop doing what you're doing. You're going to fuck yourself up. I had to go back and tell my coach, Phil Hernan, I can't squat anymore. What am I supposed to do? And he said, don't worry about it. We can do leg presses. It's fine. You don't have to squat. I lost my fucking mind because I thought I have to squat. Everybody tells me I have to squat. I can't be cool unless I squat. I got to squat. And that wasn't a fact. Matter of fact, my legs made a bigger jump in size and separation that year than they ever had. 
because I was able to focus more on the legs and my core wasn't giving out. My lower back and abdomen wasn't giving out. So in squats, you cannot train to failure. Your core will give out first. So you try to train as far to failure as possible. Well, my thing was, I can do it. I can go to failure. Fuck it. Somebody else may not be able to, but I can. So I had to go out there and grind that shit out, not realizing, realizing what the fuck I was doing in my body. Like, you can't train like a fucking powerlifter and expect to have a long fucking career. That's just not going to happen. You have a short window of time to hit those fucking numbers, unless you're, you know, you're not heading to those those real elite numbers. There's a lot of people out there, if you want a recreational power lift and hit numbers that are not crazy and stuff like that, by all means, fucking do your thing. But again, those stabilizers are going to get really good at stabilizing for moving up and down through space like that, right? First time you have to fucking twist or turn with something like this, guess what? Your body's not used to that shit. You may be like, oh, I'm so strong in the squat. You go to carry a couch and pick it up and move it like this, your back comes out. I've seen it so many fucking times. My buddy Dustin, I remember that was a great one. Big, strong guy, does a lot of squats and stuff. Stepped in the fucking tub, right, to get in the shower. Foot slip, back's out of place. He's fucking standing there screaming, calling for his wife. She comes in there, goes, what's the matter? He's like, I'm fucking stuck. I can't move. He's like, my back is locked. He's like, I'm in so much pain. She grabs him, tries to yank him out of the tub. He screams in pain. She puts a towel around him, calls the fucking ambulance. The ambulance comes. They fucking somehow pick him up and put him on the fucking stretcher in a towel, the poor guy. Cover him up with a blanket, take him to the fucking hospital and give him an MRI. That's what happened. Mr. fucking powerlifting squat guy. Getting in the tub fucked himself up. You know why? The body wasn't functional. Like, if you're going to do that powerlifting stuff, make sure you stay flexible, functional. Don't just revolve your training around that. And please, if you don't have to do three to five reps, if you think it's just cool, you just want to do it, trust me, you're going to pay for that shit. If you're out there competing, keep those reps, 10 to 12 reps. You know, maybe drop down to eight for a little bit, but keep those reps higher so you're not using a weight that's compressing your spine like that over and over again. Yes, I've seen the pros do it. Yes, I know they do it. You are not the fucking pros, okay? Bottom line, 99% of us out there are not Kevin Lavroni or fucking Ronnie Coleman or anybody else. Matter of fact, we can point at Ronnie for being one of the most genetic freaks in the world, being one of the strongest motherfuckers ever, and look where he's at now. His body just happened to fucking hold out while he was doing what he was doing. And then he started tearing things. He tore his lap, tore his quad. Like fucking, the body will break down eventually no matter what you're doing to it unless you fucking take care of it and be smart with what you're doing. You cannot do those fucking power things long enough and not get injured and not have problems when you're done. It's just not possible. The body cannot take the wear and tear. As much as you want to believe it, like the people out there say, when you go off steroids, you can keep all the gains. You don't want to believe that shit either, right? Oh, you can keep it. No, you can't. And you can't do fucking powerlifting for a long period of time and escape injury. It just doesn't fucking work. You'll get a pull. You'll get a tear. You'll get a strain. You'll get a fucking cracked spine, a cracked fucking shoulder, a torn. You'll get something. And if you're cool with that, that's fine. But if you're 22, do not go out there and fuck yourself up just to be cute, cool like and cute like the other motherfuckers out there. Because you know what? You think they know what to do. And guess what? They fucking don't. Biosterchain at gmail.com. Leave comments down below. But don't fight. Biosterchain.com. It's a don't be fucking stupid bicep, please. And we are out.